Hey everybody, my name is Dave Fricks and I'm a technology evangelist here at Click. and today we're going to talk about the Snowflake Usage Dashboard. This is a guide to show you how to use Click in order to monitor your Snowflake metadata and usage costs. So why is Click the best vendor to work with Snowflake? What makes our technology and breadth and depth of integration so unique that we offer a very valuable proposition to take best advantage of the power of the Snowflake engine? Let's learn a little bit more about why Click is so special in this space. Click is unique in that we're going to be able to provide raw data to shared insights through the entire data analytics and data integration platform, starting from being able to manage your data on Snowflake through use of the Click Associative Engine to provide top line analytics and visual understanding of data, including data science and predictive integration with server side extensions for Python and R, and then being able to deliver that information, whether it be managed reporting, guided dashboards, self-service analytics, embedded mobile, or now with our speed of thought conversational analytics bot. Let's take a quick peek at a reference architecture for Click and Snowflake. On the left, we're going to start with our data, whether it's in a relational system, a mainframe, SAP, or whatever. We're going to grab that information. We're going to load it into Snowflake with live change data capture. We're going to transform it in an automated fashion with Attunity Compose for creation of data warehouse models and data marts. We're going to catalog the information, and we're going to be able to consume that then with ClickSense and the associative engine. And all of this together constitutes our data integration and data analytics pipeline for Snowflake. Opening up the actual usage dashboard, we're going to come in here and take a look at what sort of contents we provide. We start with a little table of contents, so it's easy to navigate, being able to understand what's contained inside of the app. But as we go in and start doing our exploration, what we're going to be able to do is very quickly understand the cost associated with how much data and how much usage we've consumed inside of the Snowflake system. Storage cost build, usage cost build, credits used by warehouse, being able to understand a little bit about what users are running the most queries. We're also able to add some value around what users are also causing the most cost. And these may not be directly correlated. Uh, what's interesting about that is that sometimes usage is, is different than queries. So uh, being able to dive into that and understand this relationship, this is somewhat of a unique value by click, being able to understand this in the way that we model our data with Associative Engine. Uh, being able to see the queries that are being used, select queries, all queries. I'll take a look at myself here and see that in the last 12 months, I've used $528 worth of uh, uh, Snowflake usage. Let's go ahead and move along here to looking at a slightly different view of this, which is going to be sort of our enterprise dashboard. This is using a predictive engine uh, to be able to anticipate based on my last six months of usage, when am I going to run out of my purchase set of credits? We bought 600 credits. If I take a look at this, looks like in about four months with average use case, I'm going to run out of credits. It's important to know I want to make sure that I don't run out of credits and get charged more. So again, different way of using the dashboard. Uh, looking at auditing and security here, we can see who logged in, where they logged in, from what IP. Click offers a geoanalytics engine, which does dynamic IP lookup, so we can actually visualize where users are coming in from around the world. Some of the other features we've added to this dashboard allow you to understand how users are logging in. Are they successful? Are there failures? Are they using primary authentication or are there secondary authentication methods contained here inside the dashboard? We can also see when those spikes of logins are occurring. So being able to really understand and again, how I logged into the system. Most of the time I'm coming in from Washington. I've got Comcast, so it's routing to kind of whatever system that it decided to connect me to the internet that day. But when I come in via VPN, you can see that our VPN is going to be located in Virginia, and that allows me to kind of understand those usage patterns. Now, coming into our final piece of the puzzle, we're going to be able to see performance optimization, performance usage. Who's returning the most amount of data? How long are queries running? What are the usage patterns? If I click on this one example here, what I can see is that at some point, somebody ran a query that returned 28 million records, and that 28 million record return ran for a certain amount of minutes and cost me $40. That one query cost $40. We can also do some storytelling mode, which I can then go through and highlight who's using what, who's using it when, and be able to tell a story around our Snowflake integration. So again, being able to deliver stories, not just analytics, is part of the click stack.
Now, finally, where can you go and get this information? So I've published this project out on GitHub and it is freely available for anyone to download, load and use. There are two versions. There's a lightweight and then there's a predictive version. I've uh, attached the instructions inside of this GitHub. Uh, the link is here at the top of the page if you want to go ahead and check that out. Um, but being able to come in, download this and plug this into your Snowflake uh it's instance is a, uh, a very quick and easy thing to do. Uh, just requires your, your some logon credentials and some other notes that are placed in there. So with that, thank you so much for spending some time learning about Click and Snowflake integration. There's a lot more to learn about Click, and I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video.